Razor, the art of war. Good day, how with you? And next Thursday, this is the final Thursday in August. Then we're going to Septimus. This is Augustus. Before we have Augustus, we have Julius. This is how we get the names for the month. Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, Septimus. Yes, we're there with you. I go through the pieces. We say give thanks for the moment and the time and the energy. Give thanks for life and how we can make life be more meaningful and better. Not only for yourself, but for anyone who we come in contact with. Because it's about being happy. And I think, and I say it all the while, Jamaican people, we just want happy. You know, if we could have get rid of the whole heap of political things and religious things and all these things and all are we happy? Because none of these things seem to be getting us in that frame of happiness. The more religious and the more politicized we get is the more dreary and confusing we life is. But today are with you, you understand? Today are with you, we could be somewhere else, but we choose to be here. You know, Jamaican people seem not to understand that what is done today can affect us tomorrow or down the line. A whole heap of the sickness that is prevailing right now in a people of my age and younger <laughs> is maybe not of their doing, but of your grandmother and grandfather doing and what they used to do when they were young, you inherit a lot of these things from them. And just as how people talk about the good old days, if the good old days was so good, why is it that now it's so terrible because it don't just jump out of nowhere like this? It must have evolved from somewhere. So the minds of these people now and the heart that cause it people to do things that is inhuman and unhuman. It never does start today. So we have to really recognize that there is a system, a structure over the years that has maintained a certain thinking. We listen to Andrea Williams program Sunday and this sister who I really realize that I know her very well is claiming genealogy tracing ancestry and fair education is telling her that we here in Jamaica which is 90% of African stock we can't trace our genealogy to Africa. We have to trace it stop to the slave master because none of us can truly say that we are... I don't know what she wants to say, but fair argument is that when she scientifically, according to science, trace our genealogy, and if we should truly trace our genealogy, it would stop us at the slave master that come from Europe and I am saying, wow, that's deep, man. It means that we as African people in a Jamaica have no claim to history, nowhere at all. Good afternoon, Zof. And so your face light up, you see it? Your face light up, don't it? All right. I should have, I should have given somebody it. Yes. With the level of science that is now available. I cannot understand how somebody who claims scientific approach and methods can come on the radio and say, we, the majority of Jamaican people, our genealogy stop at the slave master because a whole heap will mix. Then my God, man, if a whole heap will mix, it's only the mixture define us 
That is a whole thing with most Jamaican, especially middle class Jamaican people. Anytime them talk about them ancestor, you never hear them talk about them ancestral Ghana. Or even Africa. I could just generalize and say Africa. But you all hear them talk about Irish. You know, them come from Scotland and them name define them. Your name define you. Of course, your name define you. But how did we get our names? How did we get our names? Simple. Just like how them name dog. Just like how you get a dog and you name the dog. I see them use to name black people. Or if you are the, 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 if you, you are owned by a certain slave master in order to identify you outside of that um, land that is owned by the slave master. They would call you the name of the slave master. So for instance, if Bakramasa named Tom or John, him gave slave named John. So when John stray, Uncle Paul and, like if John come from Westmoreland and John end up at St. Elizabeth, and somebody captured John. And them ask him, where your name? Him say, John. Him say, oh, you are, you are John Tom, slave from Westmoreland. What you doing up here? So the slave don't have no a clue to find out how the hell did they know that I come from Westmoreland, from Tom, Joe, John, John Tom, um, 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 land, or uh, John Tom, what them call it? Plantation. Plantation. Them not, them, them can't figure it out. The slave them couldn't figure it out. But the name identify the slave in relationship to the plantation where he come from. So we in a deep problem because the name them, which name identify people, place, or thing, black people by name cannot be identified and associated with Africa. Is we, Africa, we re-educate ourselves now if we come find out about we them name are not related to we because every other set of people will come on you so them name never take from them when the chinese come here nobody try to change them name when the indian come here nobody tries to change the indian name when the jew and the syrian them come here nobody try to change them name it is only the african people that when them come here in order to identify them on a plantation, they are given the name of the plantation owner. So when you hear all a, a black man end up with Macintosh, <laughs> I guess what we had. Macintosh is what Scottish, uh, uh, Scottish, Irish, uh, somewhere. Or uh, you, you say what we had. Own name Macintosh or uh, Mac, anything Mac. And you know, say if a black man name. Weinberg, you know, say him lose, totally lose, because Weinberg is strictly Jew. So you can't you can identify people with name. But guess what? It's only black people you can't identify by them name if you don't know them. So you hear a man, a man is coming here by the name of Henry Smith. You don't know if the man black or white, brown or pink, until you see him. But if you hear a man come here and name, Hong Shong, Hong Shong, Shong, Hong Shong, some whatsoever. You don't know, say yes, all right. A push, I bring him out, right? <laughs> yeah, say a push, I bring him out, I hear him. China man, that. Mr. Chow, Sheng, Sheng, Ho, Chow. You know, say, a push, I bring him out, yeah. So people identified with names. That is part of the genealogy. But because them take with a part, they are the genealogy from me. We can't use that. Because none of us know our original name that the slaves who had children on the plantation. Because it's not only rape, we did get rape. It's not only our ancestors never just get raped by the European people and then now we get them name in terms of our ancestral legacy. But slaves had, had, had children on the plantation. That never did mix up. And this is the argument now that I can't take with this lady and now who are claim science. That is not only Europeans had sex on the plantation 
with the with, with the slaves them but slaves was having sex with each other and the plantation too so it is not true to say all our mix because that is what i really want to say all our mix plus you add people who left the plantation and run away go live in a some bush which now them call maroon people in a alp right cross which part of the mountainous regions them there drunk from mountain up in a compound in a trillan in st elizabeth Bada. you have over the other side in a drunk from mountain where you have blue mountain or drunk from mountain meat you have africans who did run away and go up in a this mountain and farm community and have children and those children have children so people in jamaica always want to tell you say well no no you know i'm not true africa <laughs> What the elevator? What is that true African? You know, I'm not true African, you know, because all our mix. It's lie. It's lie that. All our no mix. It's just that it is very difficult to find our genealogy because of how them set up the thing. So the lady now say, Fear genealogy stop and the slave master come from Europe. When we know that Africans come on here, so Africans get raped. Africans have, 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 have get together and married. Africa run away. Africans run away in a bush and have children. And them children, they have children. And those children have children. And Africans also fall in love with Europeans and have children too. So if you can use science, which I hear this, the, 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 the so-called black americans them are though i use science for trace them genealogy if you can use science to trace your genealogy outside of the context of the slave master then we know some deep deep mess man we know some deep mess we kill the goat yes boom, boom. this back to school thing by the way vibes cartel have a tune now where we get introduced to last week you know and both you never go back to school. But it's either it's either vibes car well, it's two things. It's either vibes cartel recognize him fallings or he must show him versatility as an artist. Because you know say Mount can say anything. And if you want to grab a certain audience, you well artists are always do that, especially Jamaican artists. Come here, artists stand up in front of people who are singing pure conscious lyrics all the while. And them stand up in front of the people them, and them gone in some madness. And when you check him, he said, Well, all right, them have to suit the audience. <laughs> and me I say, But oh well, when me you all burning spear. Or Black Uru, or Bob Marley, or Peter Tash. Oh, when the man they go tour all the world, and even myself, yeah. When we go tour and all them things, oh, me not change up where we are going to stay over this or where we are going to stay over this or. Why are nowadays we hear artists that say, well, he must have to look upon the artists and depend on how the artists are a vibe with him, just change him things. Yet, still, me know, say, when we used to rehearse, we rehearse from Jamaica and the tune, and the, 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 all we have spent all eight weeks on the road and the show we rehearse at Jamaica. And that would take right across the tour for eight weeks, six weeks, or long with the panel road. And the same show we do every night, everywhere. Them artists, you know, them change like like come a mill come, come a little million or the, the lizard will change them color. But what may I say is a serious thing because you hear an artist do a song, you know, you know, and him say, Boy, I'm a reflect we are going out of the society. And you assure him say, yeah, that is where you are saying you are trying to make the society who where you want the society to be. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. Yes. You want the society for me to be what the society want you want the society to be. So we say all a man like all vibes cartel now and I say, all right, vibes cartel can sing certain tune, you know, can write certain tune, and cannot write certain tune, but him choose to write all sort of tune. So we see him come out with his tune, you know, about school. Yes, still it really you have to think in yourself. Consider when we usually say all the while, say, him not have nothing to do with the, the, the influence of people and this and this and that. You have to think, say, maybe Vice Cartel I do this tune, you have to show how versatile him is. And maybe him really stay in a prison there 
and get some light shine upon him like Paul, with salt on Paul, and, and, and start to really figure out him life. We don't know what says now. Because this tune here we do, where we are playing, where everybody are playing near school, who to tell that him have another tune around the corner there where just continue and perpetuate the same craziness. You understand? So, we have to just watch how the thing work. You know, we have to watch how the thing work because we have to say, no, it's a do as I say, but don't do as I do thing. And, you know, the artist them in Jamaica kind of almost on a hypocritical level. Especially them artists you know what they have a kind of hypocritical way where them project certain things and I say, yeah, but them is just artists. Them can't say anything and do anything. Yes, still Jamaican people don't look upon things that way there. You know, see, Jamaican people don't look upon things that way. Them say, well, if you are seeing the thing, you must be doing the thing. Which, me not agree with that. That's why I mean not put artists on a big pedestal. Because I know, say, just like I'm going to act a movie. You know, I'm going to act as a murder right now, one movie. And then you've got act as a Christian in the next movie. So you can't say, so the man stay. You know, I know, say, well, it's acting my act. Well, them artists, you know, them want you to believe it's not acting. Because they might reflect certain things. But then again, it as acting. They might act. They not really genuinely into where they must say most of the time. It's not like them long time artists where you know talk about all, like all Peter Tashin up on the years and I talk about ganja. Legalized ganja and all them things. And him spend all time life and talk about legalized ganja. You know see it? So him have a cars. Them artists are not have no cars. Them is rebel without cars. You know, see it, and it, it, it get away. It get away because you listen to the tune with Vibes Cartel, and you say, Yeah, that you uh, so like, you know, pull up your pants, this, that, 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 and you hear all of this thing, and you say, Yeah, the youth so like him change in a prison, you know. But by the flip side, now, you hear a next tune now where you make almost the same time, <laughs> and it that fit for your play. <laughs> I mean, know why me answer that too. I know it. I know why me answer that. You, you are next year. I hear say not fit for your players about weight. What kind of skills do Freddie think that? I mean, no, you have a whole heap of youth with stays in a Jamaica. You have a whole heap of some Rasta artists with stays so. He might perform one thing for the, re- the record, and when him there in front of a certain crowd, it's a total different people person. It's like him just put on a different person yeah, that you have to wait. I just see a man. You listen to him see then I hear him I say that. And you hear him on the stage I said that there's no. So he might try to suit a card into him. The art the, the, the crowd where my profile in front of. Me no know artists them out of my my generation. Me no know them as a me know say when them when a man rehearse a show, a dash show them do. You understand? Give and take say it might rehearse a whole heap of a tune, like maybe rehearse four or five tune more than what I'm supposed to do. As encore or him say, all right, we're not use that tune tonight, or we're going to use that tune there. But man, now just go past stage and say, all right, why you want to see a nasty artist, a nasty people, them inside that show? I'm do a nasty show. Our man come and say, why you want to see a pure rasta in that show? Yeah, you know, I could just be a rasta show. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Jovian artists don't usually function that way there. I mean, I tell you what, them, the truth. Just you can't have some folks that are here, there, though. Ask him, man, hey, man, hey, what kind of people them out there? Why you want to see a pure, weak and fast fingernail people out there, you know? Oh, yeah, all right. Some go out there, you know, pure nastiness. Like the people them who have a fast weak, no one get conscious. That is a big, is a next terrible thing, though. That is almost like you yeah, had disrespect. The, through the woman, them have had a certain kind of clothes. You feel so them not have no integrity. I mean, no a whole heap of women who oh, them dress up and bling, but them have a certain level of thinking where you can't get them for do certain things and you can't get them for dance certain way. You have certain women out there no care how you see them a dress. You can't come put no certain argument to them. They're mature roaming on your face. You know, see? Step in. Is, uh, the art of war, you know. We hear them, we see them celebrate um, the, 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 the 50th anniversary of the march by Washington by Martin Luther King yesterday, you know. I mean, like, 
that was a big thing in America yesterday. And the, the bigger thing is that America a plan for send some missiles in a in a in a Syria. The problem with it is that meanwhile the Americans them a plan for send missiles. The Russians, you know, the Russians and the Chinese veto the argument about them want a coalition if go in a if go bomb up Syria. But the Russian them have some soldiers where them are set up for defend Syria. Because the Syrian them say any of America that drop any bomb in them place, they're going to drop bomb in Israel. And the Israeli them know say if them start to drop bomb in Israel, they're going to drop bomb in Syria. And then the Iran, Iranian them going to get involved in it. And bomb a drop. So we don't know what's going to happen down there, so. Because these people know how to really destroy people, country and kill people and say it's collateral damage. But you know, it's going to affect we don't so. You could have deal it to go a fake weed on us, you know, because most of the gas and oil and all them things that don't let so it come from. So we better prepare and know say yes. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister went to China to see what she can do for us. Maybe she killed the goat. And everybody eat curry goat, you know. Trust me, and everybody eat curry goat. But as we are said, them good have killed the goat and we do no so them kill the goat because them people they not listen to we. Them just do things how them want to do it. Them not turn to the people them, even though them say put people first. Them put people first when police are fire shot. But in terms of really going to the people them and figuring out, tell me something. Everybody eat curry goat, don't accept curry goat and don't want manish water. Because the manish water is not necessarily killing the whole goat, but it just neutralizes the goat sexually. Because the sexual thing now is a problem to in Jamaica. We still ask the question, at what point in your speech you are homophobic or you are preaching violence? That is really my question. And I want to find out what point in my language I am deemed to be violently preaching against homosexuals in Jamaica. Because now I am confused. I don't know. I don't want to, 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 to preach violence against any group of people in Jamaica. But then... There's certain things that I do agree with, and apparently, no, if I do agree with it and I say I do agree with it, no, you're going to hear some homophobic and me I preach violence. So, from last week, me I call past somebody to tell me at what point in my speech I will be deemed preaching violence against minority groups in Jamaica. Please, I really want to know. I'm not saying it out of joking, I just want to know because it, it, it kind of get away, you know. It kind of get away if you express yourself against a certain thinking. You are deemed no violent and you are preaching violence. I don't understand the thing, but I still ask the question. But meanwhile, the Prime Minister, as we are saying, it seems as if she going to kill the goat. And everybody up in arms about killing this goat, you know, because the coral goat thing not going to work out, really. Because when you don't eat the coral goat, all you do is go and tile it. And that's the end of the goat. People know I say we have to balance things and balance that. This government don't consult people. Them consult themselves. It's not them. It's the people. Because I hear them talk about democracy. It's for the people, by the people. It's like them telling the 60 people run the government. It's not the people at large. So I don't know. Manish water. Manish water, all that gone to when they start to drench out. <laughs> when they start to drench out all of the liquid out of the, the goat. <laughs> you see, so you have no more goat left. And then you can't even venture into the goat pen. Because maybe it's all a colony them are set up to you. We don't know, you know. Yeah, my little sister upstairs say, maybe it's a little colony. A, a colony, you understand? So, you could have to go over there with visa, like oh, like oh, Guantanamo be in a Cuba, and Guantanamo be is an American area of Cuba. If you do Guantanamo be in a Cuba, you know, it's not Cuban run that. So maybe it can reach a point where 
the Chinese them coming at Jamaica yeah, and control a little part of Jamaica where we can't go there, go talk and say certain things. I work certain way. Because I'm going to be a little colony. <laughs> Aye, so I tell you, man, the things stay away. The things stay away, though. Know. Believe you me, the things stay away. Step in razor. Michael Jackson have a birthday today that we were told. Yes, performers ever. Michael Jackson in a reggae. Step in razor. The art of war. We're there with you. I really see it them past certain land. You know the Native Americans, as they are called, Red Indians. The pilgrims come from Ireland, running from religious persecution, end up in America. See some people there, ignore the people them, kill off who them for kill off, and move who them for move, and things near reservation. So if you go to a place like in a certain part of California, Arizona, and all them places there, the worst land where you can find in America, and that the so-called Native American them have. Because the people them who come there as invaders, known as the Europeans, move them from half of them land and try to wipe out them whole cultural way of life. So we are see say them things that could happen in them days there, but we are saying no, it's a different subtle way of colonizing people country. You know, go in there again, go kill them off and take over their land. You use money, economics, and economical benefit to manipulate the system and the governments. And then the governments now end up being your servant. And maybe the people them end up being your slave. So we not so much poverty that would have sell with wife, with picnic and everybody, just to get some economical benefit. Jamaica is a place where them say it's not for sale, but when we look at how the politicians never run the thing, you know, it looks like Jamaica really up for sale for true. Yes, it looks like Jamaica up for sale. And since now the highest bidders are the Chinese, we figure, say, get the people, I don't have to go start, learn, start learn Chinese language, you know. <laughs> I tell you, I don't have to go start learn Chinese language, you know, get the job and go to Thailand. <laughs> Or did I get the job and go to Ireland? I'm going to learn Chinese. I eat Chinese food. Yes. And when we talk about Chinese food, we are talking about indigenous Chinese food. People don't like hearing me say it, but it's true. You see all them dogs, when you see up and down the place, you want to better put them in a pen now. Because like you want to go there, you go eat dog. I saw the culture go. We don't like it, bite it. We are saying, we reach a stage you now where, yes, England, America, re, 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 le, 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 but it's who I put the most money where they're out there is going to control. And we know, say, the great man said, powerful people will never educate powerless people in what it means to take the power away from them. Because the aim of powerful people is to stay powerful by any means necessary. When we say, the aim of powerful people is to stay powerful by any means necessary. Just like how we say, powerful people have a time when they say it's bird season. And the government give them that right. Bird season means, say, Uptown youth, uptown big man and them wife can go kill bird at any at them ledger. And the Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty Animal will say nothing. I do nothing. Because this is the time when uptown people can fire them gun and no feel no way and kill bird. Because the bird no have no significance to them. More than say this is a sport. And if a bird should I just organize up some other bird and just pick out two of them eyes, you don't hear all the bird them get vicious. <laughs> why they will come back and say, Why? 
we woke up some hey man we, we went into the mountains man and we we hit on some serious savage birds man but them no savage because them have bird season and the government allow bird season certain time of year is allowed bird season that means that you can take your gun go out there and kill bird meanwhile the jamaica society with the prevention of cruelty of animal don't have nothing to say about the killing of these birds and just like how them kill the bird them it's so the police them are kill the youth them and it's so the youth them are kill one another everybody turn bird so the government come now and they say all right we need some development we need some money but when we look at the population of jamaica crime go up we have one of the largest crime rate in the world we say people can't get no work people have to work for Lick like nothing. The sister does come tell me, say, she thinks that the minimum wage should have been 10,000 Jamaican dollars because everything I go up except people pay. That is the problem. Everything I go up except people pay. Then they are the same thing the people them are buy. The same flower was this at time, and the same bus fare was that. Is it raised now, you know? And you have to use the same amount of money as you pay. Forgot though, the same things them, but the same things them cost more. So the government said, well, we are look our way out for you, you know. So you what we do? We find some people near World Bank, International Monetary Fund, and see if they can do something for me. But we know so what they might do for we is not what they might do for we, is what they might do for themselves. IMF don't make your country better economically because them have some strain and some padlock on the government them that the government them not them have to pass the test no matter how the people them are suffer and we see that happening in jamaica since them go to the imf the people them economic situation is dwindling more and more that's why you have so much millions of dollars missing from this millions of dollars missing from teachers this Millions of dollars missing all over the place. Poor people don't have nothing for thief more than plan themselves. And that is totally suicidal. Totally suicidal. When poor people start to rob themselves, you know, say it got terrible. Them people they can't rob millions. Millions. See how some of you jump on all a bike and they are rob. So, uh, so a woman had come out of KCC for pa, pa, pa Iron Street and the man them just on them bike and just boom, boom, boom. Them say a $1.5 million in cash and that has in check. How oh, them youth they know when for move, how for move, and how for shoot up car and car and nah, nobody not nah dead. Nobody not dead in other thing. Cell phone is a serious thing. <laughs> Cell phone is a serious thing, you know. Yeah, man, sometimes I drive and me just call my yard and say, guess what, I'm 10 minutes away from the yard, you know. That means, say, uh, yes, you know, say, yeah, 10 minutes away. And then we reach out, fight, say, me just roll the car, no, man. Cell phone again. Cell phone is a serious thing. So you have man nowhere. Them now go for the pickpocket business again. They might go for the millions. But you know, you see the millions of them go for. It connected. <laughs> it connected. You think a joke me I make? Meanwhile, I want my runners to get four thousand dollar, five thousand dollar a week, and that is it. The government does rubber, aggressively rubber. Cause when she go back to the supermarket, I go certain place. She can't buy certain things. The government has rob the people. Them blind. Supermarket, I go certain place. She can't buy certain things. The government have robbed the people, them blind. And through the government have robbed the people, them blind, and the people, them on glassy, round them. Them just rob themselves. So the government go to the IMF and I say, boy, right now, them want to make life meaning more meaningful. And we say the IMF now work. So the government just say, all right, I could go to a, a, a trading partner. I could go to China. I mean, I have nothing with them, I got China, but you know, the China thing at the expense of our way of life. 
giving up our way of life. We got taught on Chinese and all. I mean, trust me. Me don't know how that can work out. And them no care. Government no care. So they have a little island named Goat Island, you know, where them are eyes. Them are eyes the Goat Island thing, you know, and it has created an upset in Jamaica, you know, because people must say, all people don't know which part of Goat Island they like myself, yeah. <laughs> it's a like Goat Island, say, Goat Island, I wish for a Goat Island there. I mean, we know about Port Royal, <laughs> you know, we know about Cablot Beach. But Goat Thailand now, a whole heap of people, the first time we hear about Goat Thailand, the government say, all right, you know, we're going to move this hub thing where we have a plan for do a photo go scene and put it on Goat Thailand. But you know, in order for Goat Thailand to be proper, we have to do certain adjustments for the Chinese. Believe you me. Believe you me. You see, all the people them who used to fish and have certain livelihood after that, that done away with when that come, you know. When they have to go sell eyelash. Why? Me I tell some of them fishermen, they would be that starter, or what you call a, a second hand store we sell eyelash and wig and toenail and all them things there, you know, because after them people are done with it, you know. Trust me, when you can't even buy a brand new wig, I know, say, my Jamaican woman, them have a van, them wig. Purple wig and green wig when them go out. And if them have that, them feel naked. Even though them are naked now. But the wig make them feel like them have on clothes. Because when we see them are wearing, you know, you know, it's nothing. Girls can't go to them bikini nowadays because that, we see the woman, them go out in and do some pretty bikini. But you see the pretty bikini, that not nothing to the wig. Them have to have them wig or them extension. Or else, boy, them can't go to the road. I feel naked. I feel like I have no clothes. When I have on, when I have on a wig. So, them women there, where you used to get certain little benefits rolling about the area. We better start thinking different, you know. We better start thinking different, you know, because. The Chinese are coming. It's not the Russians that come again. The Chinese are coming. And the government is behind them, are in front of them, paving the way. Giving away our land for so called economical benefits. Where we will never see nor our children. And I see us about that too. My grandson not going to the benefit. Because them projection, them projection for a stable Jamaica and a stable nation. Gone when my grandson have picked me. So my generation, my daughter generation, and my daughter picnic generation will not see a stable Jamaica. Because they might plan for something weird down the line where. Chinese people can run Jamaica. And it sound weird now that we are said and sound like we are say foolishness. Because them all are say mad people them. But what chance we are going to happen? What chance we are going to happen? This is the beginning of the colonization of our environment, our land space our economics, and to another extent, our culture. I saw when Chinese start coming here for them culture, and them dragon, the ear of the dragon, the ear of the rat, the ear of the cow, and the ear of the dog, and the ear of the puss, and all them something there, which, me love them kind of reasoning there in certain astrological and these things, you know, but not that the expense of where we know as our cultural perspective and we need to understand how cultures swipe we by certain level level and make we just lose ourselves just like how we call ourselves West Indian I would prefer if we say West Indian and say Jump African it's the same way them have we after a while you, you have said certain things that you never ever believe say you that have said those things Stepping Razor good afternoon Jesus. 
Hello? Yeah, is this Peter? Yes, Musa, it's me. Ah, uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon. And to you, sir. And I, to you I, and, your, and your listeners. I'm glad I get you, you know. Believe you, me, I'm glad I get you. Because you're the man who can answer some of my questions. I really want to ask. First of all... And we can even talk about environment, too. The environment we are talking about, man. Oh, I thought those other questions you wanted to talk no, about. No, man, the environment we are talking about, man. Oh, I see, I see. But I already talk about anything now, you know. Oh, no, but I know, anything we want, I know anything we want to talk about. We want to talk about continue. China. We want to talk about Goat Island, especially. <laughs> and that we want to talk about. All right, first of all, tell the people them exactly the geographical location of Goat Island. All right, so, so you have the Helsha Hills, which I think everybody knows where that is. They know where Helsha Beach is. Yeah. And so you have the Helsha Hills. And then when you look at the map of Jamaica, and you see a part sticking out like a submachine gun handle. Yes, yes. That, that part is called Portland Ridge. Yes. And the area between Helsha and Portland Ridge is called Portland Bight. Yes. And the Goat Islands you now are in the top right-hand corner of that. Okay. So you would say the northeast. Of that, not east of Elsha, of 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 Portland Bay. Right? Okay, okay, so it is booking right on Elsha, but it is it is swimming distance from Elsha. Okay, so okay. Are, there are two of these islands, and they are um, one is called Great Goat Island because it is tall. Mm. It is one hundred meters high, three hundred feet high, and the other one is called Little Goat Island because mm. it's flat. Yeah, um, and smaller. All right, so. The, the government, as usual, is not consulting the people them about certain things, but them going ahead to do certain things. What exactly is the problem with the environmentalist people them? Why them don't want this up thing to be on Goat Island or moving I, to Goat I Island? I don't think it is fair to say we don't want it. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is, Muta and listeners, is that we don't know what they want. Since the government has not approached us and asked us anything, they have not told us what they want. Mm -hmm. I hear at first they were going to build something at Fort Augusta, which was five acres of yeah. land. Yeah. Then now we hear they want to build it. They, they need 3,000 acres, and that's why they want Goat Island. Mm. And I am just hearing now that it's 6,000 acres they want. 6,000 so, acres. So I have to tell you that... The truth of the matter is that we environmentalists do not know what it is that the Chinese want to build. We don't know. The government has not told us what it is. All we hear is that it's something called a logistics hub. Yeah. But it is quite clear that even the Chinese plans for a logistics hub is undergoing evolution. Because at first they want it on five acres. Then, all of a sudden, they want 3,000 acres. And then, all today, I'm hearing that it's really 6,000 acres. Mm. It's obvious that their plans are changing. Yeah. So, we really don't know what they want to build. All we know is, is that they want to build a port. Okay. And they want to build a port on the Goat Islands. But, of course, the Goat Islands, one is 300 acres. And one is 600 acres. Okay, so it, 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 it need more need more land space. When you add the two of them, it only comes to 900. So they're going to dump up the rest then? They would have to. What they would have to do is use dynamite, or dynamite as the people say. Yeah, yeah. Blow down the tall one, and use the excess rocks and so forth yeah. to fill up in between. Yeah. And then they would have to get some more material from somewhere else. To create an island yes that would be about according to them what i was hearing three thousand acres large okay now three thousand acres is a large area oh you mean man i know from a lot of land that you, man. You, you can build a town on on, on three thousand acres but isn't it, it so like is a town they want to build i think it is a town they want to build because it is my understanding that anywhere in the world the chinese go yeah they must have a place to them them family and friends they hardly use local labor yes so I have a feeling that when the politicians are saying that this project will bring jobs, 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 yeah. what I haven't heard is that it's jobs, jobs, jobs for Jamaicans. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure that it will bring jobs, jobs, jobs. Yeah, but who? But for the Chinese. 
So it's so it's so like it's a little Guantanamo be them a bill in a Jamaica. Well, you know. I Guantan- mean, without without the army, without the army thing, you know. What I mean? Why are you leaving out the army? Well, uh, I don't because leave it know, out. You know that most of these companies and these factories that produce for the Chinese mm. uh, export and so forth are yes. all owned by the military. Yes, yes. And yeah. so I do not rule out the military motor. Chinese military. Yeah. Yes, I don't to rule protect, I, protect I, I them interests. A lot of the people that come here are part of the Chinese military. Yeah, well, uh, China is a military state, really. It, exactly. Yes. So I don't know why you are ruling out the military. When me not, but but if, I hear what you are saying, that me not so like me, me is a madman. <laughs> well... <laughs> Mo, yes. make, make it sure say me have other mad people out there, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So it is my feeling that they want to build a port and they want to have a transshipment facility. But uh, they really have no intention of hiring very many Jamaicans. Mm. So they need a, to build a city to put the Chinese to live. Yeah. And of course, if you put it on an island, that way you can patrol it with gunboats. Oh, yeah, you can have a Chinese harbor. Yes, in the, indeed, you get it down. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And um, not only that, but you can have Chinese restaurants and hotels and yeah, pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, you can have a Chinese city. You can have a Chinese That's what I say. Yes. right in um, Portland Night. So let me ask you a question. What am to the, the, the portion of land where, where um, the Prime Minister promised them separately, the key land them, where, where the Prime Minister promised them in terms of connecting this highway? The, the they, already have, they already have the Canelands motor. They have Bernard Lodge, which is on the other side of the Elsher Hills. Yeah. And they have Money Musk, yeah. which is, you remember that, the part yeah, of yes. Jamaica that stick down I was talking about, and it's called Portland Ridge. Yes. Have Money Musk, which is behind that. So if they get both I don't know. Yes. They control almost the whole of the south of so the city. Yeah, city. Yeah, that city. Yeah, and man. and, um, and they, 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 they could lock it off. Yeah. And, 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 and of course, they, are, they have a big concern about security for the Chinese that are here. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, best best thing to do is to just build a wall, the Great Wall of China. Yes. And keep out the Jamaicans. But let me tell you, you ask what the environmentalists have against the plan. Um, the, the, the thing is that if you're going to build a port, why are you building the port? You're building the port because um, the um, Panama Canal is being widened and deepened. Right now, the Panama Canal cannot take any ships that carry a draft of deeper than 11 meters, 12 meters. That's about 36 to 40 feet. Right? Mm. The new canal will be able to go up to 18 meters, which is almost 60 feet. Um, that means that any, that, that, but, but right now, most of the ports around this part of the world are not able to take ships of that size. Yeah. Um, and so the idea is to build a new port that can carry ships that carry about 60 feet uh, of draft. Yeah. No, no, um, Portland Bites is a very shallow area. It, um, the, the, if you look at the marine chart, as I have been doing, right off the shore of Goat Island, about 200 meters, you get the 10 meter contour, depth contour. 10 meters is, of course, about 30 feet. To get to 60 feet, you have to go beyond Pigeon Island. Again, I'm not sure if our listeners understand how far out to sea Pigeon Island is. Pigeon Island is about five miles out to sea. Mm. So if you wanted to get 60 meters, if you wanted to get 20, sorry, 60 feet, 20 meters, you'd have to go about five miles out to sea. Yeah. That means if you want to dredge Portland Bight yeah. to be able to take these big ships, yeah. that's a whole heap of dredging. Yeah, and, and, and it will affect Elshire Beach too. It will affect, it may not affect Helsha Beach because yeah. Helsha Beach is down, down current. Yes. The current comes from Helsha to, towards to the Island. Yeah, yeah. Where it will affect is down current further. Places like 
the Milk River area and mm. going down to Clarendon area, Clarendon, Clarendon, area. Clarendon yeah. West Milan, yeah. Manchester, Central yeah. Zedet, and going down that side. Um, but of course, it will also disturb the current flows in the Portland Bight. Now, Portland Bight is a important place as far as the fishing industry goes. Old Harbor Bay, which is supposed to be the largest fishing beach in Jamaica, that is located there. Mm. But it is not well known that there are another half a dozen fishing beaches. There's also a welcome beach, which most people don't know, um, by, by Clarendon. There's, there's also um, uh, the, the Portland Cottage, which people have heard of yeah. because of the hurricane. Yeah. There's also Mitchelltown. Seaford which is a big uh, fishing beach. Yeah. And then around the corner is Rocky Point, Clarendon, mm. which is a big beach, probably the third largest fishing beach in Jamaica. So, um, and the fishermen depend on the, the fish and the lobster and to a less extent the shrimp and stuff like that. Now, if you dig up the whole place for a port, you're going to disturb the whole what we call the bathymetry, the configuration of the sea bottom, mm. the bent off of the whole area. And the place is going to be not the same as it was before. Yeah. When the sea, when the tide comes in and the tide goes out, when the currents circulate, they're not going to circulate in the same way. Mm. So the, 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 the currents that carry the, the baby fish and the baby yeah. lobsters and so forth, they're not going to go in the same direction and place they used to go. This, this is going to disturb the fishing industry. But, um... Yeah, but maybe we won't need the fishing industry when they come because we can substitute it with their kind of cultural thing about dogs. You know, because the Chinese eat a lot of fish. They eat a lot of dogs, too. But they eat a lot of iguanas. Yeah, but when I say, well, maybe, maybe in, eat, in, 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 in fishing, maybe obsolete when they come because yes. now we can now, they can facilitate a new cultural eating habit. Yes. Well, maybe the fishermen will be obsolete. Yeah. And maybe they will have to, to, to join the getters of Kingston. Yeah, you know? yeah. But um, this is a very serious matter. But, you know, it's a serious matter from an environmental point of view, but it's also a serious matter from a planning yes, and governance yes, point yes, of view. Yes. You, you're going to have a 2030 plan, Vision 2030, planning ahead for the next how many years. This... Logistics hub is not in that plan, you know. Mm. You have all kind of five-year development plan. This logistics hub is not in any of that. Yes. What you have, you have a systems plan for parks and protected areas. Mm. And that plan has Portland Bight as a major protected area within the Jamaican system. In fact, it is the largest protected area in the Jamaican system. And that is what we have planned for. But instead, no, this unplanned thing, which just coming in overnight, yeah. is, is going to crash away all of that. Supersede everything. But so why did the minister, so how the minister now um, deal with this argument of environmental um, well, control you know, minister, and, and this economical development? How him deal with that? What is surprising us is that we have a minister of investment and development, and we have a minister of the environment. Yes. The Minister of the Environment is supposed to be protecting the environment yeah. from unsustainable development. Yes. But it is the Minister of the Environment that is announcing this project. <laughs> so it seems like the Minister of the Environment have a sex change. Uh, that's serious thing. Because instead of defending the environment... Yeah, he might go with the mini Like, him, him, in our ministry, where he's not supposed to be... There you are. I don't understand it, Muta. I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't understand it neither. And they know, you see, because they go and they promise jobs, jobs, jobs. Yes. Every little person don't pick up and say, you know, we have to support this project because we want to yeah. work. And yeah. things hard on not go on. You can't... But, you know, you, you should notice when the TV cameras go out to all have a and talk to the fishermen. Mm. I think I only heard one of them saying that he want the project, want the project. Everybody else say... We want the project if it protects the environment. Yeah, yeah. So that I know have been working in that area since the late 1980s. And I must say, after hearing my fishermen talk, I retired from that many years ago, no, five years ago, no. 
But after hearing my fishermen talk, I, I smile because obviously they understand where their future lies. Their future does not lie mm. in a Chinese logistics hub. Yeah. Their future lies in the health of the environment in that area. Yeah. And I, I, do, I think the government is going to find that the Jamaica that we are in today is not the same Jamaica when they were in in the 70s. It's a different Jamaica. Definitely. If Jamaicans have, are withdrawing from the political process. The last general election had the lowest turnout in Jamaican history. Yeah. And the party that won the election had the least support of all the parties in the country. Yet they still said they win by landslide because they're counting seats. Yeah, well, it's a land. They must slide when all the people don't have nowhere to live. You can't count the seats. You have to count the popular vote. And they won so little of the popular vote. Yeah. And now they think... But all they have to do is wave a flag in front of everybody and say, yeah. jobs, jobs. Yeah. And yeah, everybody yeah. will say, come, come. Yeah, yeah, you, know, come. If the, you know, if the Prime Minister brought back any brand new tires for the Jeep? <laughs> I don't know because even the Jeep is not going to run on Go Thailand. It's like it'll you to push him. Only Chinese workers will be there. You know, the Jeep thing come like the, the, the youth in the Holland Dam. We're pushing finger in there to stop the dam. Hmm. And him have to sit down there with him finger in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. And that is where but, the but, but, uh, I appreciate your ventilating these issues on your program. And I'm hoping that your listeners, that are, are, I hope they are paying close attention. Yeah. Because it's very easy, you know, to be teased and tantalized and yeah. tempted yeah. with the promise of jobs and investment mm. without making sure that, that they you include in yeah. will include us. Yes. Yeah. Because it, this is not a Jamaican plan. It is not as if the Jamaican government said, let us have a logistics hub to take advantage of the new Panama Canal. This is the Chinese saying. Yes. They want a logistics hub in Jamaica so they can benefit from the new Panama Canal. Yes. It's yes. their benefit. Of it's course. their investment, it's their port, it's their logistics hub. And it must be our environment that will suffer, our fish stocks that will suffer, and our fishermen, and the Chinese will get the jobs, and the Chinese will make the profits, and laugh after us. So what do you think we can do now? What, what is the, where, where, where we go from here now? What, what, what we can do? Well, immediately, you hear both KD Knight and Omar Davis saying, that no the final decision has been taken. Yeah. So thankfully the the, the, the um, storm of of disagreement and protest mm. has forced us a very slight backtrack yes, yeah. by the politicians. What we have to do, Muta, is continue the storm of protest. Definitely. And this conversation hopefully is doing that for your listeners. And we'll continue the conversation when you're gone too. I appreciate it. I'm hoping that the, the JLP selection is not going to distract us from this more important issue. Yeah, it is going and to distract us. of course, the JLP has shown themselves many years ago not to be a Green Party. And yeah. I wrote a column about that some years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are not a Green Party. They don't have any environmental record. Yeah. And for that matter, neither, neither does the... PNP, PNP, which we know definitely yeah. is not a Green Party. Yeah, yeah. I hope this is not to become a political football. This is not about politics. Mm. This is serious business. This is about the gym, our, our people, ourselves, yeah. myself, our children and grandchildren and great grand. Well, we hope that the people them can understand the the seriousness of the situation and act accordingly. Because, you know, as we are saying, you hear this on the radio now, as we are saying, we'll be people do able to understand the implication down the line. You know, people feel right. say when they matter about job is them that are about it, not about them. It, not so we are, we, we, are, we are only discussing it in this program in the most general terms. Mm. There is need to discuss greater details at a later stage. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to you calling me back when okay. we have a little more time. All right, sir. And we can try and describe the situation in greater detail to your listeners. Definitely. Because Give Give thanks, Peter. You know, as I say, yes. Bless. Bless. Call you again for the next thing.
Please do. Yeah, all and right. And if Musa next thing especially, that would be nice. All right. All right, all right Musa. Yeah. That was Peter S.P., the environmentalist, who we call him just to find out because have more knowledge on this Goat Island virus as an environmentalist and thing, you know, just to figure out the thing. And that's poor people, the majority of people who listen to this program yeah, will get an understanding of what the government wants to do with the environment and with the land space. You know, it's a city they want to build. You know, go on like them no want to build it. We are telling you that without anything in my mouth, more than my tongue and my teeth. The, the Chinese want to build a little city, a Chinatown, with an China Arbor, governed and operated by Chinese people under the watchful eye of our government. It is not jobs for the jobless of Jamaica. Just like oh, we know that the IMF is not going to make our life any better economically. Because since that happened, since them get the little drawdown and the little money drawdown, we don't see how it benefits Jamaica. The money where them draw down from the IMF, where all the thing get worse. Eric, um, the 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 um the teacher them a ball the other day. We see them a, them a lose millions of dollars left and right, and we see man a whole up big big money place. You know, oh, man stop rob little people though. Them a big thing them a go after. We have said that. Jamaican people, you know, I have to open, you know. You know, I have to open. And we are saying, some little youth around the place, and you know, we are run up and down and go like them idiot. Trust me, you know, at 19, 20, now 20 are the old, but wait till later down. You know, I see how important them things are, words to, you know, if you know, just listen and take heed. It's very difficult for sure, man, something we are going to happen 10, 20 years from now, when him no can understand nothing more than we are going to happen tomorrow with him. What is done now will deal with you down the line. And if you hear the thing and you recognize the thing and ignore the thing, trust me, enough man to stop light, you know. And the seats are ready, and you take a chance to run go cross, you know. You know, no, say my run go cross, you can't fall along the middle of the road. We are doing it for sure, you say. There are certain things that. It's bigger than we when you look at the thing, can you look at the thing from a newspaper perspective or a television perspective? But when them guys are sitting around the corner and I count one and one, them get all fifty. You know see it? When them account one and one for we, you know, it we got a bar quantity. When them account one and one for themselves, all fifty them get. So when we think say, yes, you know. Prime Minister Gala China, we're going to have investment. Yes, investment now. Nice. But who's who going to be in the interest of? And these people don't have no gods. If you sit down and say, look here. You see, if we are going to do this, and this we want to tighten up, we don't care where you are saying, because they're afraid, you know, they're afraid. Because they say, well, at this we want, and then the man them going to say, all right, we're going to move the thing to Barbados. I will move the thing to a, a grenade or something. Them now figure, say, well, right now, if me go tell the man, say, do this, how is this going to benefit me five, ten years' time? Because them now really want to do the thing, really, if them now get no, in, no benefit out of it. So we should not do the thing if we now get no benefit out of it. And them cloud with vein, them cloud with vein by making me feel the blood are going to run through the vein. I'm going to put elastic on it and stop the vein and make no real blood now run through. So Jamaican people, wake up. Stop your sleeping. It's not the time for sleep, you know. Trust me. And the party is nice, but we island and go. You know, see so the guys them not do nothing about the beach them. The beach them where the, the hotel them are bill all wall in the beach. And I put ball round it. 
imagine a daughter who come clear from the Congo, who live in Belgium, and come show me, say, she go to this place, and them put ball, white ball, in the beach, like a pool, in the sea. And me, I say, but a long time, them do that, you know, you want to go to the Negril, that all the guys see, I, I, I swim over this, so them try to show you, say, boy, right, now you can't swim over this, so, because the hotel property, hotel which property, or hotel own sea. Or oh, 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 what guy I can make? Hotel, build wall in the sea. And then a bar it to have with rope around it. That if you come and I say, hey boy, you know, she said the tourists them over here, sir. Go over there, sir. Where you go over here, sir? You stay at the hotel? It don't have nothing for you to stay at the hotel, you know. I see. Oh, what guy I can stop you from being in the sea? Because hotel there, there, sir. You know, I sell out. Them sell me out. We can't go for a beach again, go have fun. You know, see it. We have your art, we have your dodge. <laughs> you want to see, you want to see, you have your dad, Rasta. Every other country have ways to go to the sea that the public can. I, I, I mean, the sea is a sea, Rasta. It's a sea. Oh, hotel, I go build wall in a sea, and government not see that. Leak down the wall. Make poor people get to swim up in a sea and all them something there. And wicked them, wicked, pick it. When you think loans, think Chris and Charles Investments. Broadcasting Commission send a letter to Iris say we must not play this tune. That is a question I ask now because I am playing the tune and I will continue to play this tune. So I don't know if it's going to reach a stage where the Broadcasting Commission is going to get some call from some guy and say, look here, you see that tune there? We don't want that tune to play on the radio, you know. So just X that. So you see, any of them exit, me accompany the radio, come talk, so they exit it out. So I refer to my word, you know, if we tell, if we tell me, say, no, we play it. Me go tell the people, they say, I only tell me, no, we play it. You understand? <laughs> um, yes, step in, yeah, Razor. Yes, that is it. Ah, wow. Right greetings. <laughs> yes, greetings. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I, you, you, you just came out of the flight? Yes, yes, uh-huh, yes. Oh, I'm okay. here in Kingston, yeah. I was uh, thinking I was going to be able to see you, but I, I understand you're in Ocho Rios. Yeah, well, uh, where, where, where are you going to be speaking? Tell me. Yeah, this is Dr. Jewel. Dr. Yeah, Jewel yeah, I know, no, I know. I'm saying, where are, you, where, where are you going to be speaking? Oh, I'm going to be speaking at uh, the University of West Indies. When? Which day? Which day? At the old library. I'll be there Saturday, August 31st, and Sunday, September 1st. Well, I'll be up there on Saturday. I'll be coming up there on Saturday. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I have a little something for you. Okay, okay. wonderful. <laughs> All right, yeah. so let the people, tell the people who are talking to me and what is your um, discipline here. Well, you know, this is a really special time here. We're going through a 59,000-year-old year changeover, and the entire world is changing. Our geography is changing, everything. And I'm here on the island to basically share with us as Jamaicans the importance of really reevaluating our health, our wealth relative to ourselves, because we're not understanding yet that your health is really what is going to determine your entire experiences in the 21st century. That determines our money value, how we use our resources and everything. And in the past, we've always looked at other people and we've looked at, you know, how much money we have that's going to determine our life. It's not. It's really our own personal health and our ability to see our wealth around us and to be able to use it wisely. So this is what I'm going to talk about because everything now is based on in coming from outside of us, all right, so, not, so, the, not the vice versa. All right, so Hello? which way was look at it now? Is, is your wealth deciding your health or your health deciding your wealth? If you're... Is your health is your health deciding your wealth or your wealth deciding your health? No, no, no. It's always your health decides your wealth. Okay. So. Always, always. And that's what you want to look at. You know, so Jamaica is a special island. It has everything going for it, et cetera. But, you know, Muda, as I was studying the statistics uh, to prepare for this lecture, it's amazing how the health of Jamaicans are it's deteriorating. Well, and, we're, 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 we're nearer to America now in culture, you know? Yeah, right. Well, you know, the health of Americans has really gotten bad. That's why, you know, every major city has almost three miles of hospitals. Yes, and yeah. that's not what you want to have. I mean... So that's why I'm saying that you have 
all the natural resources here, but why is the increase of diabetes, mm. HIV, high blood pressure, even arthritis? And, you know, this is a climate where you, uh, no one should even have arthritis, but we're looking at what's coming in through the food tank. You and know, so uh, with the foods that are coming in, it is really changing yeah. the the uh, quality of health in the Jamaican body. Well, you know that it is... It, in terms of the high blood pressure, it's hard not to have high blood pressure in Jamaica with these politicians. You know, it's, it's, it's very difficult. You know, very, very difficult. You have to try hard. You have to not listen to the news like the prime minister. You know what I mean? Eh? But, um, all right, so what, what do you use as a formula to, to show the people how to reach to this understanding? What, what do you okay, use? Okay, well, well, this is what the lecture is going to be about, but let's just follow through on what you said about the politicians. Now, it's very interesting that you're saying that looking at too much TV and listening to the politicians uh, raises your blood pressure. But now what we've discovered is that the emotional health of the individual determines whether they will have high blood pressure or not. Mm. Because we find that when individuals, are, as you say, are vexed all the time, okay, and angry and uh, are suspicious, that automatically causes all the blood vessels throughout the body to actually contract. Yeah. But the contraction is long-term, long-stay, and that is what causes high blood pressure. So the key is how does one learn how to think and see their outer world in a different way so that they don't cause Shift in the body, so is, and is, that's what we're going to talk about. So it's the all right. Without, I mean, I, I, I know you're going to do the lecture, but for the purpose of, there are more people listening to you now than what going to be at the lecture. So I want to just argue something about it. Is there well, a, is, is there a certain discipline that you can use to really diminish your blood pressure? Is there a discipline? Is there a a, a, a yes, yoga? There is, a, is, is yes, there a yes, yoga? Yes. Whatever they use. Right. Yes, there is a discipline, and I I'm, I know that you practice this, that the first thing in the morning... Yeah, yes, you over whatever they use. Right. Yes, there is a discipline, and I I'm, I know that you practice this, that the first thing in the morning when the person gets up, they should, as we call it, create their day. Yes. Okay? That is to say that they should decree what their life is going to be Me about yes. for them and their family every morning. Mm -hmm. So whatever the politicians say or what everybody else is talking about, that's okay, but when you create your day every day mm -hmm. and stay focused on that, that is what is going to transpire. Yes. And I find that when individuals don't decree for themselves what it is they want to experience and let people outside of them determine what is going on with their life, they create problems. Yes. That's a, yes. And so, therefore, your body has to be led by you not by other people outside of you. Definitely, definitely. And so this is one of the main things. And so even allowing yourself to have to be dependent on medication still means that you're allowing someone outside of you to Decide. control conditions that you can change by changing your attitude. Okay, okay. So we're going to talk about that. And that originates, and the whole high blood pressure issue really is centered around two major organs, yeah. heart health and kidney health. Yeah, yeah. And kidney health and heart health are dependent upon one's confidence and also one's ability to recognize that any experience they create for themselves, they can work through it for their best interest. They do not have to feel intimidated and as though they're helpless. Okay, so this is happening Saturday and Sunday. So what time Saturday? Saturday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and at, Sunday, at, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. At the same, the same place, the two of them is at the same place? Yeah, at the old library, University of West, West Indies. Indies. Okay, uh -huh. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. each day. Yes. Is there a fee mm -hmm. you're, you're charging to go in or work? work? Uh, yes, uh huh. it's uh, 2,000 J, a seasonal pass. That's for both days. You know that grandma could have high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. <laughs> no pressure. Okay. That guy will have high blood pressure. You want to do anything? Anything over one thousand is high blood pressure. Believe you me, especially no. Oh anyway. no, no, no! Trust me. When people walk away with all this knowledge and information, yeah. they're going to recognize. No, I know if they walk in that investments the, they make. It's not the walk in a way. You know, it's to confront it. You, know, you have to come first. You know, to walk away with it. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and so I'm really excited about it. So we have some I'm wonderful... Glad that you're, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, me too. Yeah, me too. Time. So how long you'll be here? How long you'll be here? Um, I'll be here for about 
for four or five days. Oh, you're going to be every five days? Mm-hmm. So, hey, Bridget, well, Bridget, Bridget, they beside you? Yes, she is. Let me talk to Bridget there. Okay, hold on. Hey, hello? You see, they know them hang up the phone, but make the phone hang up. Wow, okay. We didn't want to talk to Bridget about her being here five days. That is clear to Wednesday. All right. Step in, razor, the art of war. Uh, Bridget? 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 I'm holding Buddha. Maybe you pick up the wrong line. Oh, man, I'll pick up the wrong line. All right, who, who this? Who this? Yes. I know the wrong line. It's just, I, I, I know me pick up the wrong line. I the wrong line. Me click. No, I don't go one well, line. Well, I, no. I, I speak to you yesterday, Muta, about my husband. Just think of you, but yeah. you gave me some blessings yesterday in Arasta. I don't know if you feel the energy, but you did. But tell me something. You was one of the car last night, say, me make your husband not sleep with you on Wednesday night time. Yes, and you give me some blessing. It's, it's unbelievable. Muta, you have an energy. Me, me going to have to talk to you every now and then. Because <laughs> your energy is something else. Oh, yeah? Are, are you the clear Atlanta? Yes, are you the clear Atlanta? You feel me energy? Clear Atlanta. You, you big on my job, man. Every woman going to talk about The lady that just came off the phone, she has the energy, the very same energy that yeah, I maintain. Yeah. Yeah, but you see, you see me I try to get back. We, we, we talk about something. We, well, see if we can get her up on the program yeah. But you're cut, you're cut yes, yes, it. go ahead. You call it back another time. All right, and my I, man. I call to thank you for your blessings, man. Big up here. All right. So, how oh, your husband? Am, am I all right? I'm Chris, man. My husband, Chris, man. Are you yes. no Chris? Are you no Chris? Yeah, because I'm not listening to me too much. I'm not listening to me too much. <laughs> I'm not listening to you too much. And you see him. But you send blessing, man. You get me. You know, my customer called me this morning. and said, don't thank me. Thank Muta. All right. See it then all. See they know, so you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not gonna trouble him again when you listen to me. So you're not gonna trouble him again when you listen to me. No, me me behave myself now. You're gonna listen to to me with him. Yes, <laughs> you're gonna listen to me or tune in with him. Yes. All right, mama, <laughs> give thanks, yeah. Give thanks, Musa, every time. Yeah, we can see if we can get back. Visit uh, this lady called me last night and said, "Well, I should know this one about our husband. Can't have enough for Wednesday night." It has put her in a problem. She needs some sexual healing, and Wednesday night is not the night when she gets it. <laughs> All right, step in. Greetings, Moja. Yes. Hi, this is Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Yeah. The lady says she's going to be here five days. Yeah. Five, when she leaving? She's leaving on Tuesday, so you need... Oh, a Tuesday, shall it? Five days from now, a Tuesday? Yeah, man. All right. I think it's all Thursday. She's going to leave that. I could have put her Wednesday. Papa, Papa, it's the show, don't it? Yeah, that's where it go. That's where it go. Anyway, I'm going to come up this Saturday. I'm going to come up this Saturday. You're coming up Saturday. Wonderful. Yeah, Chevrolet, uh, listen to me now. I'm so impressed because you want to give, you want to hide things from black people, put it in a book. Yeah. You're still the only reader of Bible, but she has my head. I wish I could have her for days. Just, you know, listen well, to her. S- well, sit on, sit on with her. Maybe, maybe you won't see me as a madman. You go on. After, you don't, right, <laughs> after you don't listen to her, maybe you won't say, what be a Muta was not a madman after all? No, but I don't think you're a madman, Alan. How could you say that? <laughs> all right, Bridget. Oh, to see you. Bring Jackie, too. Yeah, okay? Uh, yeah, all right. All right, then, darling. Yeah, bless. Yeah, yeah, give thanks. Yes, a serious thing. Okay. I also reach. I also reach. I said, man. Yeah, man, long time in a year. Give thanks. Yeah. What we I said, oh? Yeah, most of you have to regarding the, the public and the elder the people in Jamaica and the foreign influence or that me notice out there in the motor. Mm. It's all like we were traveling and got foreign and them places like the banana and the coke and the dashing, you know? Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, and the concept in Jamaica is fat is healthy. So Jamaica people don't like that banana and dashing and them something there? A lot of them, man, especially the people that we never travel, you know what they like? Wow. The thing them where we got foreign and used to a ridiculous foreign, they cup soup. Uh, uh, a rice. Nogles. 
Yeah. And them things, because when we do a fine, I still, you know, one, but one and a banana we want, and but, them things, you know? No, but me don't think that Jamaican people reject banana and that shit. Me say a lot of them down, your man, and mm. them things that them prefer cub soup, then me have to notice that thing, at the TV, they live off of yeah, them. Yeah, but man. most Jamaican people still have them banana and that shit. They eat it out as with the regularity and in the quantity that the government all have to tell them to eat what we grow nowadays. Yeah. Because everybody I, live the foreign life, you know, Kentucky and Mac. Kitchen. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you well, get well, what I'm saying? I'm pizza shop and Papa yeah. John and them thing there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I said, I go around fatty steak, not healthy. Well, that people yeah. say the fatty is not, you look strong. <laughs> you yeah, which is looks, which is rather <laughs> deceiving. Me practice public health and I've been out here to 40, 42 weeks yeah. and I know the difference. Yeah, yeah, I too bad. People say you're fat. Yeah. You look healthy, man. You look fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look fat. You go to the doctor with the fat in America, public health, we define fat as obesity. Yeah, as of course. a disease. Yes, that yes. correct. And a slim, thin, raw bone, and that may healthy. And you know, so them say, you know, so them are talking about most, um, most people now, and you look at the TV, you know, all of them show them about doctor and health, you know. All of them are tell you how to get rid of weight, you know. You know, that's not that's because all it deals with. Have, with the that more weight. weight you have, the more salty. Because public health, me don't yeah, make a public yeah. health inspector. I tell them, man, you have reason. Yeah. From, from downtown, time, time, yeah, 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 yeah. from half a tree behind the Adventist restaurant. Yeah, well, me could deal with that issue. No, me not deal with that issue. Yeah, no, me could deal with that issue. Yeah, no, yes, no, the public that's health thing, yeah. motor, it means they can't be the point of weight. We think we take off the weight, motor. Yeah. I work the hills of plant banana tracks back to me bush there, but the hill down the hill no driving, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Tea yes, and yes. plant ice green yes. and gold chop suey cooking, uh, you know? All right, that. sir. Yes, yes. And them things that you walk the hills and you burn off the ends. You read, you read about a man with them fan with 123 what day, yeah? Yeah, yeah. which part? Jamaica? No, in a, in a, in a, in a, somewhere in a, in a, the south of, near Brazil there. Uh, one twenty two year well and I wild in and just eat the wild thing. Well, well, maybe I'm And in burn tobacco. Uh, maybe I'm having enough sex though, because sex take off weight, you know. Yeah, man, you say we, you say they have long walk every day. You know how you're about to say, me say, sex take off weight. Yes, yeah, sex keep it balanced, it's balanced, it's certain Bal- balance, balance it, your it, mind too. Yeah, certain chemicals within the body, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah, man, I'm Buddha. We have a thing where we look at Marcus Garvey birthday gone, you know. Yeah. And even Martin Luther King, I have a dream, yes, Marcus. Him, I yes, win Fred Gray versus City of Newark. I have a greater freedom story, real life, than MLK, than what even Dr. Higgins. All right, sir. All them people that can lecture about them in our centre and our journey spring. Right. I become a, I want one day, we do doing music, I'm going to One so day you I come tell me about that. Man. One day you come tell me about that. I can't start a fire in a room. I mean, do the music, I'm going to have a man run more set in you the see, morning. No, you're gone, you're gone, you're, you're gone after and ginger now. You're gone after and ginger now. I'm not content, I'm here, the ninja, the phenomenal uh, one. All right, sir. 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 All right. Blessed man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mota. Yes, ma'am. I just love the selection from last night up to now. Boy, so long you listen to, hey, you know, you see, you know, you don't sleep at all. <laughs> oh, you can't remember. Now do like the, the, the man or his wife of a colleague, you know. Hey, you know, so, you know, so we have to go put a little bed inside here, so I make it stay in here, so, because, and then, we, we soon start give. I have my radio right in here. No, but we have to start give out two of you who listen to IRFM the most. No, I listen to everybody. I can't tell you all who work for Harry. Listen to everybody. Because night time we sleep and wake. Yeah, man. It's all matrix. Not the early morning. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you know easy, man? You know easy, man. Trust me. You know what's a mega mobile on the radio and the car. I can't sleep. I show. I show. Sometimes I don't happen to be on the TV. Yeah, too. man. The TV yeah, have to watch me before. Because more before. time I have watched the TV, I'm not sitting on the panel for a while. I listen on the panel radio, make me laugh and think. Because last night, you know, I'm going to stop laughing. Me, sta- uh, me not make you stop laughing? Yeah, man. You, know, you answer some little things, man. All right. I really want to say, the first thing I can get for call, if you don't much years in the panel radio, you ask me if I'm a panel radio at four. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Paul Elliot get back in things there, though. You know what's laugh? Yeah. Paul Elliot, 
call me and tell me, say, why a man snatch him, him wallet and he might look back for everything when I'm wallet because I'm ID them and thing in there, but the I man can't hold the money. The, the boss is just done finishing and the boss did mad. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever I get a chance, I may call you, you know? Yeah, the yeah, boss yeah. is mad, man. Trust me. All right. Give thanks, mama. Give thanks. All right. Cool. Give thanks, yes. You no, know, may I tell you, man, that's, that lady there, she not easy when you come out to listen to IRFM, man. Trust me. It look like every dial, every, every time she turn her dial, I just irie. I just irie. If she turn the dial, go way up at the top of irie the pan. If she turn the dial, way down at the bottom of irie the pan. I just saw she run the thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to bet, man. Step in. Yes. Greetings, Mosa. Listen. I just want to make a clarification. It's a thousand dollars per day. Okay. And two thousand dollars for the season pass. That's for Doctor Joe. Oh, my blood pressure gone down. It's it's also what you eat, Mosa. It's what you eat. You go and tell me, man. You go and tell me, Mosa. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay, so it's a thousand dollars per day, and two thousand dollars for the season pass, which is two days. Okay, all right. Are we get you get coffee with that? Okay. Uh, that could be arranged. All right, ma'am. All right. Okay. Yes. (laughs) All right. Okay. So, plant some tree. Maki Kanchos. Hey, Maki Kanchos, I hope you say you plant some tree, you know, but I sing that song, I go like to say you plant tree, you know, plant a tree, you know, plant some tree, Maki Kanchos. Kadimas is currently promoting his 14 tra- So I thought it's Kishmi Afghan, you know, believe you, believe, they, 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 they had word this went there, you never know what it got done, you have to look keenly. Anyway, um, the, 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 the topic where we never mention and very important because Rasta, why? I don't know. Jamaica, I don't have to pay no preparation to Rasta when we're done in Rasta because some things when I say I come up, I know. You know, say, one time them did ask. Anyway, when them did do, make the commission for the Ganja Commission and them come back and tell people, say, yeah, the Ganja decriminalize it. You can't decriminalize it. The, 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 the Prime Minister. The web name again, Bruce Golden. Bruce Golden said, Why well, him, him, him can't men him can't do nothing about this ganja thing, you know, because it's very ticklish, especially with the America thing. So it's really America. And we that say that all the while, you know. People are going like say so we don't know what we are saying. You know. It's because of America why Jamaica cannot make no move towards or we view ganja. No, we see it, it is a big conversation in America now. Ganja, especially like with the past CNN now, and you know, they make um, documents you know, about weed and the medical marijuana and how much state now legalize marijuana, decriminalize it, and all these things. Now it becomes something now where people now in a Jamaica who is of high standing now can ball out loud and say, Yes, we can get certain benefits off of Ganja. At that Rasta did that say, At that, at that Peter Touch that thing about all the while. People look down for Rasta when Rasta tell them, say, it's not going to smoke, it can't smoke, but it can do other things with it. The American them patent part of the ganja. When they find out, say, patent part of the ganja, when they can find out, say, boy, right now, it's good for certain things in your brain. So you can't use a part of the ganja again because America government have the patent for all of that. So, Jamaica now, we see big conversation go on. In the newspaper now, we see headline, give ganja green light. Scientists urge government to facilitate Jamaica tapping into multi-billion dollar medical marijuana industry. We know, according to where we find out, that ganja in America bring more money than the three main crop them, which is wheat, sire, and corn. They make more money off of ganja than those three crops put together. We would never know that, but it's true. And for that, we're one of the biggest crops. We must know, say, big guys involved in it. Now we see people are ball out in Jamaica now. People who, nobody now going to look at them as mad. Nobody now going to look at them as stupid. You know, we see, we're bridging, um, what name again? Anthony Gifford, Lord Gifford, 
I come out and I say, it, against the constitutional rights today, they are, 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 are lack of people for ganja. So, the talk is on. The talk is on. America bust it out again. We have to follow behind America, PP, clack, clack, PP, clack, clack. So, America bust it out again. So, now, we can now look into it again. This is after it was looked into years ago. Now, we are going to look into it again. Spend some more money for go have a next commission for go find out the benefits of marijuana and all these things. You know them going to have a big ganja um, conference in a Jamaica September. At this month, at twin, well, next month, yeah, next month. They're supposed to have this big ganja um, conference. We, we, we are thinking that only if a big ganja man will come down from far. <laughs> I say about police out of airport <laughs> when they <never> go back. <laughs> I say about police out of the airport when the ganja when the ganja people them come from foreign. Don't give read them paper and all them things, them findings, pan ganja and all them. So when they go back, trust me. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, step in. Step in. Yes, so may I facilitate. Phone call and them know them the phone. Step in. All right. Them to the phone call, you know. Okay. All right. The ganja thing is on the, the board now. It's on the table. And everybody's presenting them case for ganja, not against it. For it. Because America now is for ganja. Big, big doctor. They pass CNN and I apologize to the world for fighting against ganja over the years. Him come do a ad, him come do a um Sanjay, him come do a um a a a, a, a um, documentary named Weed, and him a show the benefits of it for some little youth where they have epilepsy and all these things. So now we need to step into it. We need to step into it because we know that. There was a time in America, especially a certain part of America, it was illegal not to plant ganja. Did you hear what I say? Yes, and the first draft of the, the American Constitution was made from ganja paper. The idea of canvas and ropes and all these things was made from hemp. We know that. All the Bible... The Bible page them. A ganja page, a ganja, a ganja used to make the Bible page them. Believe it or not. So, it's a direct discrimination and a racist thing when you see them make them think they're illegal because we know, say, all, the first president of America, the man they used to plant ganja for certain things. You understand? And let them come call it Mary Jane or marijuana, the Spanish word for Mary Jane. And get it twisted and turned and all them something like So now we see them a move towards now the legitimacy of the ganja plant, medical properties, this, that, that, all of these things is involved with it. And then Jamaica now go and soon start import ganja. Yes, Jamaica go and soon start import ganja from California. Because the medical properties of ganja will be found and we're going to need to develop it here. But we won't have any ganja here because America already they tell you if you kill out the ganja, you know, and them spray all sorts of things and kill everything. And I think it's only ganja that spray that kill. The ganja kill a whole heap of plant them. And I'm sorry, they, they, they spray kill a whole heap of plant them. But you yes, see, so here we are import ganja from California. Trust me upon that. You go have little packages of ganja in the supermarket. And then you go and go realize it, Mark. Imported from Seattle or Oregon, Portland. <laughs> when you say Portland, you think say Portland, Jamaica. Oregon. They have a place named Oregon in America. We up not in that, they are California. You understand? So, yes. Ganja the party rise again. Why oh, you look all the rest of man them who they don't know say Ganja is not only for smoking, but it also make all clothes. The system emp make all clothes, brother, emp make clothes, make this, make that. Chocolate, 
D and this and this, T, head, this, that, all sorts of things, shirt, pants, earring, all, all sorts of things it make. Yeah, it's good for you rub your your face, the, 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 the mud, ganja mud, that, whole heap of things it make. So why you look, all the people them who would recognize this from the beginning? Why you look my bridge in a Calabash restaurant? You look the string, yes. A Calabash restaurant, trust me. Trust me, she can't switch it out. I win the time for come get the food, you know. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. And she love it too, you know. She love the exercise. So, why heal her up? Because, yeah, she's a, she a good worker. She's a good worker. We know, say, food is very important. That's the next thing we we'll rest that tell them about all the while. That is why most of the food, them store them right now. We are dealing with health food. R- vegetarian restaurant. The Rasta own them. You have a restaurant named Kush Restaurant right up on Phoenix Avenue where, you know, so tomorrow we are going to play up there. Yes, eclectic music. The Kush Restaurant is, 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 is putting the vegetarian cuisine on a different level. Yes, you can recommend that restaurant to anybody. Strictly authentic vegetarian cuisine. That's what they call it, cuisine, the Kush. That they from Phoenix Avenue, off Hope Road. So tomorrow we are going to play. You know, say we favorite little place to play. Past Sunday is West Street. Yes, man. Our favorite place is that West Street for play. So this Sunday, no different from that Sunday, them we're going to be there. Okay, we want to play this thing for now. Play this thing, yes. We could play this and get it off of the, the table. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three. Stick up in here. At this, we did not play. At this one that I play before they, they, they will stop it. Maki, conscious. Man. By first time call, I know. Go miss, you know what I mean? All right, Sam. Boy, I love it on the radio, man. You alone, me in Jamaica, I make some talk, you know. Eh? Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Prime Minister, but you know, why you know what I'm watching? Me? 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 Yeah, but that me I told you know, so what you mean at the middle, them over that side and them over that side and crush me inside and no, sir. Well, you know what I say? Mm. Well, we think there. Mm. May I say no, since since the ball field opened on that we thing, why do you make take a president move on that? No, but them can't take a president again because America take the president president on them and Alan take the president on them. And you go I take the president on them, so them can't do nothing again more than just make the thing free up on you, so. Yeah, but if, if we are the man of country, I make the man take everything like when I take the regular music. We are end up with nothing. Yeah. Chinese are not coming. Yeah. American, this. The, yeah, the, well, the, that means we should start import ganja. Yeah, but yeah, I'm going to import the ganja now. Mr. Carrier is a black cat, only, so he more capitalized by the car. The big man, them just like the liquor, you know. Yeah, but when I tell you, say, at that I go Yeah, but when I tell you, say, that I go happen. We know why it happened, but at that I go happen. But we're not standing up, Muta. So where you got about it? Where you got about it? Well, we're going to come together. Hear me, I say, oh, Mr. Jamaica, around. Ten months last night, up on the road, I said, we're going to go up on the road and we're going to make a demonstration. Peaceful. Mm. But then you realize the man, we could be the man. And no man up on the road was one man. Yeah. Every man gone. Yeah. So the Marcus gave them at the world, don't know they are bridging. Yeah. See, that's why we have to man like you. We have to keep it on the podium so you can vice. Because yeah, but I don't want you put me. I don't want you put me first, like the PNP. No, we don't want to. Wait, 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 wait. You put, you put. You see, the PNP put the people first, and then when the gunshot fire, are the people them get the gunshot. Well, here we are. Say. So when you put Muta first, put Muta first in that thing. When the gunshot start fire, everybody when when Muta turn round and we shadow him. See. <laughs> you are no say you know you know say the world Jamaica love you are too look man at talk about in no sense but yeah. you're not educated enough to know what I go on because yeah, yeah. they really know what I go on yeah. I rest the first yeah that's what I say that's what I say all so right. good work, you know, yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Blessed man. Listen to you every day, you know, but go miss this now. All right, sir. Where's your name? Where's your name? Where's your name? Gomez. Gomez? Yes, sir. You know how to eat? <laughs> no, I'm different gummy now. And we weed gummy at that, bro. Okay. Uh, the, 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 gummy, it, the gummy. The gummy. The gummy gummy. The gummy gummy. <laughs> Oh, God, it's international, but we are touch base on a regular, you know, because I don't like what I go on in the country, and the country can't change the people in the stand up. Yeah. Have some bars like Marcus Garvey. Yes, yes. And talk to them people that are telling an idiot, because people, nah, them nah, they're not something, I am. 
Where, where's the most have? Where's the like Marcus Garvey? I want some balls like Marcus Garvey. No, but remember, say it's a woman that rule we know, so we will get that. Anyway, give thanks, Bridget. We're going to move. Give thanks, Bridget. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Alabama. All right, how you do, man? You have to talk fast so because they have the catch part thing I come up here. Oh, yeah, man, with the name thing, man. Me also, me tell them people up here, like white folks, you know, they might just say, how oh, your name sounds so uh, English like or American like, but we never really quite understand why they ask that still, you know? Yeah. Because when, because when you look, when them look by you and hear your name, they realize there's something wrong. Yeah, the name, like, they might say, they might look for something like more, you know? Yes. But yeah, yeah true. man, but we there with you, man. Because what you know, you see, if me hear a man named Mr. Chin, uh, if, 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 if the operator come to me and say Mr. Chin outside to me, me I go there to go expect a certain looking man, you know. Yeah. Me yeah, I go there to go expect a man who look like me if he name Mr. Chin, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, something wrong if me hear say Mr. Brown outside, I want me go, me go see a black man, you know, and something scary about that, you know. Yeah, man, but we lose the identity. As definitely, you, you know? definitely. Yeah, man, I'm there with any prize I give a Felicia. I want nine prize, too, you know. <laughs> 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 Where do you have fire? You don't have fire. We have to go use FedEx for your prize. I will do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go for people. Walk and walk. <laughs> yes, all right, sir. Blessed man. Yeah, give thanks, Mota. Give thanks. Yes, yes, a, a serious thing. Plant some tree. And that we are working with, you know. You think I see sunny Yes, Mota Baruka. Are you a lead it out, you know? Over Africa, you step with the step in the razor, you know? You step it. I like. Hey, huh? Oh, huh? Mm. Hey, we have to hold the call them until the cash party, you know? Because if you start that, I'm going to lock you up. So hold the call them until after the cash party. Call Angola. Mota a call Angola. I'm a Mafrika Gola Kalangola Muta Baruka A Kalangola Yes, I'm a Kalangola A Pasha Shamala Gola In Kalangola Muta Baruka A Bondi Kayat From Babylon Yes, I'm a Techno Chat From Babylon Because a you corrupt We get a youth We do no wicked that on no Babylon, when him park him trample down Babylon, Muta Baruka, right from Babylon. On no warriors, they are with your clans and plans, are from trapping him on. Think who no can come take Mama Africa from the again. No, who no can come take stepping razor from the again. Who no think who no can come take Mama Africa from the again. No, no, can't come take stepping razor from the again. True religion, your band on Lebanon. Lick yourself and have the motor baruka. We don't know. Good taste to life. The time by Grace to make the ketchup is. Yeah, the time. Blessed man. Yeah, if you talk, Lord, I do it now. I said, I want to say something real quick about. Yeah. Dungeon. Yeah, if you talk, Lord, I do it now. I said, I want to say something real quick about. Yeah. Ganja and legalization in Jamaica. Okay, sir. No, personally. Me no want ganja legalized in a Jamaica. Okay. You prefer, but, you prefer Rataman them go to prison jail and thing for you. <laughs> but the thing is why me no want it legalized mm. are because the world are moving in a particular direction where the legalization of ganja is going to only benefit multinational cooperation. Yeah, but we never did what, what you know. I talk about Watch out, another benefit me I deal with that right now, you know, is the persecution of Rasta go through over the years, sweet, that, that me I talk about. Yeah, so me for the decriminalization, but not the legalization. Okay. Because 
legalization you know will lead to a wider persecution of people through people are lose them land for companies come plant ganja yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, Jamaica, Jamaica don't have no machinery or any kind of technology that will enable them to produce things where herb can help with. So we should have made coffee mean? legal then, and then maybe we we'll get more money out of it. That's what you say. Like what? Coffee. 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 Yeah. Well, true, true. If, true. if, if coffee is illegal, maybe we we'll would get more. I can't be so powerful the logic where I use. If the thing is illegal, it means, uh, you know, I mean, if it gets legal, it means uh, the, the multinational corporation will make enough money to fight. And we are going to lose our land. So, well, well. Like banana, no. If, 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 if banana is illegal, maybe we we'll would make no, more money. No, man, no, man, no, man, okay. no, man. Herb, herb specific. You know, you know, man. Say herb don't have the same history as banana and coffee. No, but you see, you talk about the the, the multinational corporation. We're gonna take over the business and make money and fight. Yes, yes, yes. May I talk about that because in, in when when herb when herb becomes legalized yeah it is in it is coming from a, a situation where it is it is illegal banana and coffee never yeah. at one point illegal never illegal yeah you know and yeah. they might make it legal for particular reasons why why, why you think them are, who, who you say i make it legal for particular reason the, the come you know you nobody are making legal for particular reason how much um they were making you know, legal for medical purposes because some people did a fight against it realize say, it have a use and a purpose. Yes, but but who benefits who benefits with, from the, the medical, medical the, the the people them who are sick. The people them who are sick. Yeah, the people right, them who are sick benefit from it. Yeah, but when but when you you have to pay what you have to pay for say for instance, like you're paying Five hundred US dollar. Mm-hmm. They ounce a herb. Yeah. How many people can afford a ounce a herb for five hundred US dollar? In a in a in a America, so to speak. Not to mention. Yeah. So you when, you feel say it will get more expensive. Ah, uh, they will control it for the money for them. Both, both. And the thing is, you know, these people who campaign for certain things, mm. them campaign for an economical. Um, yes. economical truth. You mean like the doctor, like the doctor in the paper? Well, I don't know about the doctor. Uh, but it's true, because I might deal with it for a multi-million dollar base. You might say it can make multi-million dollars. All right. L- listen to that little piece of history about herb. The first law um, America passed was ban herb, you know. The first law America passed was ban herb, named the Stamp Act. Mm. It's a law that was not necessarily for ban herb. It was a law to get the Mexicans them out of them country. You remember, you, all right, I don't know if you listen to me now. I say it's a racist thing. That's why they call it marijuana. All right. The idea yes. of marijuana, which is which is Spanish, which is which is a Mexican Mary Jane. thing, Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so it starts, you know, it's that same that same law the way you are talking about now. Give way to yes. this argument of marijuana. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So so that. What is happening now is kind of the same thing. So a man want to see, a men and women around the world want to see herb legalized. Well, I, I necessarily want to see it legal. Like certain measures for, for, um, in regards to stringencies need to be relaxed. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have a problem with relaxing certain things. But you said it shouldn't be legal. It shouldn't be legal. No, because right now, mm. as a country, mm. Jamaica now go benefit. We don't, in the position. In not the position. Benefit. It's stupid. We're stupid. That don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we're in the position, and, and but it's stupid. And stupidity make in a position, which eh? is true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as a youth, as a youth, yeah. who yeah. never day in the, in the 70s yeah. and the 80s yeah. when certain people come down kill it out. Them them kill it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But me, no, this one. Oh, I and I observe where you can. Oh, them set it up, yeah. They will, yes. they, and they will go make the money and we just are watching and I look. Can't exactly. afford it, yeah. So other people want to. Uh, All right, sir. So give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah, man. The youth are giving advice and we love it. We love it. Okay. So.
we reach this part of the program you now. We want to play this thing about cell phone, you know. You know, love, we want to play it and can't get for play it. Listen to this. A couple of weeks ago, Risk Bites explored some of the dangers associated with that icon of 21st century living, the cell phone. Can these ubiquitous devices be bad for your health? The good news is that according to experts, the outlook is pretty good if you're worried about your phone causing cancer. The bad news, though, is that they're potentially dangerous if used inappropriately while driving. The problem is distraction. Distracted driving occurs when something pulls the driver's attention away from what they are presumably supposed to be doing. It may be a conversation with a passenger, or ogling some passerby, or fiddling with your cell phone. Researchers in one study found that in a driving simulation, cell phone users were more prone to rear-end collisions and unresponsive driving than subjects who had had a few drinks. Of course, driving in a simulation isn't the same as driving on a real road, and you can always put your cell phone down, whereas you can't sober yourself up on demand. But there is growing evidence that things that vie for our attention while driving impact on our ability to drive safely. What about drivers who use Bluetooth or hands-free devices, though? Several simulator studies have reported that drivers using hands-free devices are no better off than those with their phone held to their ear. In fact, the hands-free crowd often seem to drive faster in simulators and show slower reaction times. Researchers think that using cell phones hands-free makes drivers believe they're less distracted than they actually are. But this is in simulators. On the road, things get a little bit more complicated. Research on drivers in real cars driving on real roads suggests that the additional risk associated with talking on a cell phone, whether handheld or hands-free, is quite low. On the other hand, texting, or anything that takes your eyes off the road for around two seconds or more, has a dramatic impact on additional risk. One study on drivers on real roads found texting while driving increased the risk of a serious incident by over 20 times. The bottom line is that cell phones can be bad for you if you let them get in the way of what you're supposed to be doing, especially if that thing is already potentially dangerous. So please keep your eyes and attention on the road, not your phone, and stay safe. Ari of AIM, thought-provoking, always smoking, lyrics like a bazooka, you are listening to Muta Baruka. Time so you are know. If you don't hear again, you know, I true we're gone, but we're gonna go to the music. Yes, you know, the next week we're there Wednesday from two, sorry, from 10 to 2 in the night, and then we'll come back in the day again from 2 to 5 45. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. Bushu Bantan.